is personal. It's not about titles here tonight. It's all about Kane getting some retribution from a morbidly disgusting human being. And why exactly is Triple H morbidly disgusting? Because of the disgusting, salacious videotape that he aired last week on this broadcast. I bet they can hear that one up in the rafters. He's putting those educated feet to good use. He's still not through. Have you ever been in a casket, Cole? Have you ever had a casket lid close on you? No, why the world have I ever been in a casket? Well, I have, and I can tell you that it's absolutely horrifying. Every time I've been around a casket, it's never been a pleasant experience, so I could imagine what it must be like to be trapped in there alive. Oh, wait, nice reversal. He almost took his head off with that lariat. And the knuckles connect. And another fist. I don't know what Katie Vick ever saw in Kane. He must have had a cool car or something. That's the only reason she'd ever go out with him. Are you kidding me, King? We're watching two of the six men that will be in the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series, and you're talking about Kane's car? Well, the Elimination Chamber is going to be something else. I had a chance to see the blueprint. It's absolutely unreal. Let's not forget, King, these two superstars will be part of the first ever Elimination Chamber match at Survivor Series next month on pay-per-view. And you can add Chris Jericho, Booker T, Rob Van Dam, and Shawn Michaels to that match. Although earlier tonight, Triple H didn't seem to think HBK would be at 100% for the match. Well, he certainly looked to be in great shape last week when we talked to him live from the world in New York City. I don't know, Cole. What Michael says, and that's it. He's out. He looks fired up here. Avoids the impact there. After the humiliation from Triple H last week, I wouldn't blame Kane for anything he does to the game here tonight. Well, I think Kane has years of frustration built up. I think Kane was upset because the truth has finally come out. If he had just come clean in the beginning, none of this would have ever happened. All I know is these two men met at no mercy for the World Heavyweight Championship, and thanks to Ric Flair, who is not here right now. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. And now back to his feet. has to be happy with that win at the risk of getting ahead of myself if this guy keeps winning matches like that we better reserve some room for him in the hall of fame and i'll tell you the roof nearly blew off this place in rosemont when the bell finally rang to end this one